Hey, Mr. Parker here to do a bonus review for the uh, Italian Jaws ripoff week, and it is Big Alligator River. I had seen this movie years ago, but I decided to rewatch it for this special occasion. Uh, it's by director Sergio Martino, who is a pretty famous director. He's dabbled in pretty much all the Italian horror film genres, uh, Mountain of the Cannibal God, uh, as well as several giallos, Case of the Scorpion's Tail, All Colors of the Dark. But uh, so it's a pretty reputable director, and the cast is uh, pretty enormous for this type of film. It's got Mel Ferrer, Richard Johnson from Zombie, Bobby Rhodes, and uh, I had to look on the back. I looked on the back for all of them, but I remembered all of them. I can never remember this guy's name. Romano Pupo or Papo. He's in Street Law and The Last Shark and a post-apocalyptic movie by Martino as well. Uh, basically, what we have here is a resort, of course, an exotic resort, uh, ran by uh, Mel Ferrer and uh, his the guy from Street Law is kind of like his assistant. They also use the help of a local tribe. Uh, later on, a photographer shows up and begins. He's supposed to take the pictures and have the tourists enjoying themselves. This is kind of a, you know, a Jurassic Park type deal where it's just a trial run. Of course, uh, tragedy ensues as there is this evil god that has awakened an alligator in a crocodile infested waters. An alligator pops out. He's enormous. Thing killer crocodile. Uh, he is brought, and they believe he's angered the croc, the alligator god. And he starts killing people, uh, savages and guests. Uh, to be honest, this film has actual moments of suspense that are pretty grueling. Uh, at one scene, one of the young natives takes a girl out on a raft and they're uh, canoeing. And that scene uh, where they think the uh, alligator's coming for him is really uh, well made and actually builds a lot of tension up. And the music is used effectively for it as well. Uh, there's this weird shot with photography shots that seems straight out of the time era when he's taking pictures and it just seems completely out there with the music playing and the freeze frame shots going on. Really wild, really 70s, really grindhouse feeling. And I enjoyed that scene, the music, and the suspenseful alligator scene on the raft. Vatale, 
Uh, then there's a lot of downtime, which is a little disappointing, but the ending uh, packs a major punch. It has one of the best endings of uh, Animal Attacks movies of all time. Uh, the natives decide to uh, scare the, and kill the, terror, uh, the tourist off so that the alligator will leave their waters. So what happens is, the, at one point, this is kind of a spoiler, the tourists get caught in the water with the alligator and they can't go on shore on the docks or they'll be stabbed and bow and arrowed and speared. So it's kind of like this ultimate giant massacre. This movie has probably the biggest kill count for one of these movies. And what's really fun is that all the tourists are these really cheesy, rich, outlandish, ridiculously eccentric, horrible actors. Like there's a sci-fi lady, there's the asshole with the gun, there's all a preacher, they're just ridiculous and you can spot them all getting massacred in hilarity. Body. Young people today only want to shake their bottom. Hot? I was saying, shake their bottom. I'm used to all kinds of heat in the tropics, but this is enough to kill you. What do you say? You can't hear a word with this ridiculous music. Uh, there's a little girl actor in it, so you know Italian films are hor uh, infamous for having these poorly dubbed Italian little kids. Uh, House by the Cemetery, this is one as well. I think Shock, all horribly dubbed. Uh, this film, though, I must say is very entertaining, a good soundtrack, and uh, Sergio Martino is a very capable director. Even when something he has is rather silly, he always manages to pull through. Except maybe I did never prefer All Colors the Dark. A little boring for me, but should probably be talking about that movie here. But anyways, if this sounds like it's up your alley, it's got a great cast. Uh, it looks great. Uh, good shots. Yeah, and there's a cheap little... Uh, doll dinosaur too, a rubber dinosaur. But yeah, this is the No Shame DVD, which is out of print, but it's been re-released by uh, Mia Communications, which I'm sure is the same exact print, same exact disc. They're kind of like a sister company or something like that. But anyways, uh, this is actually uh, one of the best, I say, of the week, and I enjoyed it. Uh, Mr. Parker, have a good one.